This is a woman album review of Government Plates, the fourth studio album by Californian experimental hyper-aggressive hip-hop outfit Death Grips. This group have taken all the negative associations your parents have with hip-hop, the loud bass, the explicit language, the ultra-violence, and they've revved them up to a dizzying level to create an entirely new genre of their own. This is the fourth album in their three year career and in that time they've been getting more and more outrageous. Their last album sported a giant penis on the front cover. Here's a censored version of that album cover. Here's an uncensored version. Oh no, that's actually a picture of me. Government Plates is arguably the band's most extreme release so far. It's not easy listening from the rapid fire vocals and bass breakdowns on the first track to the aliens on ecstasy house music on the last track. The album relentlessly and creatively pummels the listener for its entire half an hour length. Vocalist MC Roy doesn't deliver as many hooks, a lot of the, his vocals are chopped and screwed with, which can get a little annoying, or annoying, or annoying, annoying, annoying. It's a blessing and a curse, it does help to make the album deliberately more disorientating, but it takes away the human element, giving the noise less context. Saying that, DJ Flatlander does get to show off his incredible beatsmithing skills a bit more. Some of the in instrumentation is just so incredibly forward thinking. I thought this was a really engaging album. Death Grips are a, a car crash that you can't help but stare at. They're abrasive and ugly, and that's what makes them so interesting. Buy this album for your grandma for Christmas. 8 out of 10.